Hello guys, it's Ray J and in this video I will show you how to format your 64GB SD card or memory stick into FAT32. Now this will also work on 128GB as well as 256GB, so you'll be good on that front. So you may have realised that when you try and format your 64GB SD card or memory stick and over into FAT32, Windows just doesn't have the option for it. So we'll click on format here and when we click on an option to file system format, you're only given the option to do NTFS and XFAT. So this is currently on XFAT. Now I know on command line you can do a FAT32 format using a 32 gigabyte card. However, it, using the command line for anything higher just does not work. So to resolve this, you wanna click on the link in the description and then you want to go ahead and download this software here, EasyUS Partition Master Free. So I click on the download link, and then click on download here. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you'll have this file here, and you want to go ahead and run it. And then you just want to follow the installation wizard through. Okay, so once it's installed, you can go ahead and launch it. Okay, so here it is on desktop. So all you wanna do is just run the program. Okay, now click on launch application. All right. So then, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your memory stick is plugged in. And you wanna just take note of what it is. So mine is 64 gigabyte stick P. So remember that letter, Yours will be different, mine is P though. And then you wanna click down here on the letter of your drive. So there's mine, P. Then right click and click on Format Partition. Okay, because I'm actually gonna be using this on my TV, because my TV will only read in FAT32 format, it won't read in anything else. This is the main reason why I did it. I'm gonna call mine Films and TV. And then I'll FAT32 it. As you can see, you've got different options but we're gonna go ahead and do FAT32. Cluster size, you wanna usually do it the highest you can, so I'm gonna put mine on 64 kilobytes. And then you just simply wanna go and hit OK. Okay, so now that it's done that, you just wanna click on Apply to make sure that it's actually done it. Don't, don't forget that, because when you actually hit OK, it doesn't actually properly do it. All right, so let's go ahead and click Yes. And it will go ahead and format it. And there we go. It's now been formatted, so just press OK. And we can close this or minimize it. And then if you go back onto my computer under storage, just click refresh because it might not show. There's the drive. And now if you right click and click on properties, you'll notice that the file system is in FAT32. So that's it, guys. That's all you have to do. And now you will be able to um, use this on certain kind of systems that will accept FAT32. Bear in mind as well that if you do have an SD card and you do do this, make sure the write protection is off so you can actually write to it. And that is all you have to do. I hope you found this video useful, guys. And if you did, then please leave a like, drop a comment, or even subscribe, as it does mean a lot. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you around. This has been Array J.